all of my connections with <clears throat> religion, theology, the church before that, I had never had anybody talk about the symbol system, the, the, the words, the God, the Christ, the Holy Spirit, the church, is a way of saying, first you have to identify an activity, and then you name it. So God is not an idea, it's not a concept, it's not a th theology, it's an activity that you encounter, or that encounters you, to put it another way. And therefore, when you get encountered by something that throws you up against your limits or throws you into a situation that you would prefer not to have, that is when the question arises, what in the hell's going on right now? And what they did in the course was saying, you have just encountered that which we call G-O-D. And no one had ever done that before. Everything else, God was a concept, God was an idea, God was a something <clears throat> that you had to believe in. And this had nothing to do with believing in anything. It had to do with experiential. And that, I remember going to bed that night after we spent time going through Bultmann, who raises that question for you about your life and all the various experiences of where you've been felt empowered and where you've been cut off and I remember lying in bed and just not being able to sleep because it was you had to wrestle with your life you weren't wrestling with ideas and it would be dishonest to say that I was an idea man and I still am to a great degree uh, ideas meant a lot to me ideas were real ideas are what I lived in and out of Experience was something sort of that happened that had to get out of the way while I thought about something. <laughs> and this was such a radical address. What is it that enables you to take that which has just broken you open and, and, and given you a situation that in many cases you'd prefer not to have, but to embrace it as your life? And it was in that section in which I began to grasp that any time you wish for something other than what you've got, you are trying to escape G-O-D. You're trying to escape from the reality of your life. And therefore, it behooves you <laughs> to pay attention to what's going on.